okay hello everybody it's try it tuesday and what have i got new okay this come this week i've never used them before got the distress oxide sprays I'm, I'm not um i have a lot of sprays but i usually make them myself so but i like the oxides and uh, of course i love the distress inks anyway so i thought we'd have a little play <laughs> i did I, I did start and I thought, well, I'll have a go. And then I thought, why am I not videoing this? But anyway, I found that in with my sprays and I, that's, I think it's a, it's a dye ink. Well, I did add some of that and it's very strong, but it's it's nice, if you know what I mean. So, you know, I thought that's not a distress ink. This one I put on as well. That's, li that's liquid acrylic, some acrylic paint that I've watered down. So it's like liquid. You know, I literally do that <laughs> that's it <laughs> then i'll brayer it okay all right you know you got this is wet it's totally different to using than when you're using um quick paint all right so be aware of that but you can get some very interesting results. So I do that sort of thing. I've well, got a little bit of Distress Spray Vintage Photo, full strength, this one. Okay, so that I've chosen. I'm, I'm sticking with that, that colour range, all right, what I've got here. Old paper, which is green, which but beautiful. Tumbled glass. That's what I like about these colours. They just change and they do odd things. I love it. Hickory Smoke and stormy sky okay that's the ones i've chosen plus we've got turquoise acrylic paint there i'm all down some ocean eye zinc never used that before so well, i've only got one of them i must have liked it because the color because it's called ocean because <laughs> uh, anything to do with the ocean i love right so i'm gonna this is what i do all right, and I then I it sort of starts to get mixing with everything, yeah. So that was old paper. Uh, let's have a bit of stormy sky. The, I've shake. I've given these a good shake. So, and I think you've got to clean the nozzle a little bit when you're finished, because if it dries up, I think I think they um it affects the spray as far as I can gather. And I've already put this on, I think. That one's tumbled glass. Look at that. Okay, I do want a bit more brown or vintage photo. Okay, right, that's quite wet. Okay, so the first impression I do sometimes is, is too much. Okay, I just literally gently do it okay gosh look look at this okay and i'll just got to be gentle yeah because it's quite watery but the results are fantastic okay i do want a bit in that middle so i'm gonna do that and look at that okay and then time you say coffee stain the other bits there that would be absolutely gorgeous now if you get too much on there Okay, which I'm doing at the side of me. Sorry, folks, can't see it. I just put that down. If that's really, really wet, just get another piece of paper. You know, another bit and put that on top of that one, which I'll show you once I've done it. Like that. Okay, and you pick up that paint on there as well. Okay. So we have that now yeah and then this can go in oh my cat has got some stuck to his tail <laughs> he's going around in circles there we go all right i just i'm sorry but i just love it okay just going to put that one down and being brave there yeah 
sort of smudged it a bit, but that's all right. And that's dry, right? I'm, I'm putting these straight on the heater. Okay. I'll do some more like that because I'm loving, I'm loving this colour. Absolutely loving it. So, right, this is distress spray. I haven't got that one actually. They might not do it. I don't know. Right, let's do that. This old paper one, gorgeous colour. It might be slightly green because I never mixed it properly, but I liked it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to put some of that in. Just like that. <laughs> uh, you're getting used to me now. <laughs> the silly things I do. <laughs> Okay, this is quite, I don't know what paper this is, it's very lightweight. Um, oh, it's par is it parchment? Oh, I don't know. It's just an odd paper I've got. It's nice and thin. Yeah, let's go somewhere else. Okay. Okay, look at that. How gorgeous is that? I want a bit more blue, really. Um, let's try and get a bit of that blue. Okay, lovely. Like that one will go away. I'm gonna leave that as is. I'm just gonna do another one. Yep. Doing press firm, you know, the second time once. Most of it's off. Amazing, isn't it? There we go. Love it. Right, there we go. I hope they're dry by the time I finish the video. I'm doing some more of those. Oh, let me do this one here. That's it's got a bit going on here. I just got one of the cards that I usually do. Can you see that? There we go. Sorry. Let's put that on there. Can't really see. I have to come out a bit and then I might be able to see at the side of me. Not really. Okay. That's that. And then I'll pick up some more. Oh, look at that. Cool. Same same colours, just maybe in a different order. I'll put that one down. And this one here. Oh, that was this one here. The paper, old paper. There. A bit of this for contrast. The vintage photo. I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to... I'm going to try it without brayering it this time. Let's just see what happens. I have no idea. It might be great. It might be rubbish. Okay. Look at that. Cause that. So just put that down there. Um, I'm loving that. Look at that. Oh gosh, it's really beautiful. I'll leave that one there. Okay. Oh, I'm going to bray it now. Oh, a minute. Let's put a tiny bit of this in. So it's nearly all gone now. <laughs> really mad that bit i tell you it's really concentrated it's really good so okay all 
All right. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. And definitely want some of that in, don't we? Okay, I'm going to put a tiny bit of water on this time. Because we know oxide reacts with water. Okay. Such a gentle touch, yeah. There we go. How cool is that? Need to get that dry. Okay, while I'm putting that on the heater, I'm going to lay another bit down. There we go. Beautiful. All I know is. When you're spraying, please cover everything up. Because <laughs> right. my iPad is right near me and it's covered. <laughs> that is my very old one though, but it's okay. Right. Shall we? Stormy sky. Let's add a bit of... No, that's hickory smoke and stormy sky. So let's have a bit of that. <laughs> the cat wants to get out. When he's out, he wants to come in. And when he's in, he wants to go out. He's not meowing now, so he's okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. We'll go out in a minute. This is um the watered down acrylic. So again, this is all water-based stuff. Maybe not that. I'm sure that's water-based, though. Not alcohol. But it's all very wet. I want some water. I haven't got much left. Look at the way that joins off. Just... So you could do some um, really good watercolour paintings, couldn't you? <laughs> Oh, you've got to be careful it doesn't go to mud. That's all right. <clears throat> right, should we get out to get a few off of this one? Okay. Because there's added water. Look at that. How cool is that? Right. Do that. Need to get them dry. Oh, let's put another bit on. Wow, well, that's oh yeah, don't let it um dry on the watercolour paper. Okay, but that's cool because it will stick to it. It's not like acrylic paint. Right, okay, shall we mop up and then Start afresh mm -hmm. with the same colours, but just in case. Um, normally, I don't clean my thing. My plate in between or anything like that it's just that this is a different medium so 
I'm cleaning it because I wanted to start off afresh. <laughs> now the door is that I've left the door open, right? And he stood by the door meowing. So you can't, I don't think he can quite get through. No, you can. He's just playing silly devils. <laughs> oh, well. Right, let's go for it. This is both again, a bit of acrylic paint with water. I'm gonna very water down mine. Do that. I'll put a bit on there. Spray of that. Okay, let's have a bit of this. This is distress spray. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit of old paper in there. Oh, yeah. It's like it's um, okay. that, leaving that. I'm going to miss this one. Why have you used all this paper? I love it. Tommy, stop it. I expect he's thinking it's about time I went in. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. How vibrant is that? How cool. This one. A bit in there. I'm going to leave that now because I really love that. Right, that's going to dry beautiful. Okay, might have been doing another of those. Should we go that way for a change? See what happens. Look at that. But I need a bit more on that one. So I'm, I'm trying to stop having the like the smudged effect. But you do get it a bit sometimes. Just remember, you can always, always go over it. Yeah. If you wait for them to dry in between, and then reapply other other mediums, it's okay. But you just make sure it's dry or else it becomes mud. Okay, but I'm liking that. It's got a rusty feel. I'm just going to put a bit of that there. Same place. Okay. Love it. Okay. This time, stormy sky. Quite a bit. Okay, old paper. Tumbled glass. Um, I'll put it where I put the other th other. Then vintage photo comes out in one line. <laughs> And then don't ask me why I do that or what I'm doing because I don't know. <laughs> now I'm just adding a bit of water. We can get it moving. My poor <laughs> iPad. <laughs> I wouldn't do it with my good one. My good one's up above me. <laughs> okay. I don't want to 
not shit. Oh, wow. Okay. You just have a bit of that there. Okay. Okay. Leave that. Very hard to show you because it's curling, but I'll put it on the heater. You'll see them all after. Okay. I'm going to go that way there. Okay. It's quite a lot wet there, so I'm not going to press at all. A little, let it do its thing. Yeah, and then let's just pick up a bit down there. Okay. Lovely. All right. Oh, sorry. Here we go. I don't think this is about it. The last one. I've certainly got some here. I'll mop these lot up. It's not white, it's cream. So, um, I think they're in there. Okay. Let's just pop that down there. And that's lovely. Oh, sorry. There we go. Don't think we'll get much more. I'll just put a piece of white down and see if we can pick any of this up. Some of these are the best. lovely right okay i'm gonna clean up now and i'll come back to you when they're all dry okay i'll see you in a bit okay they're all nice and dry and they are looking lovely i just want to show you this a minute you know with the toppers that i made last time do you see how that all now looks together okay so yeah beautiful love it all right so that's a bit oh yeah this is the mop-up cloth because i had i had a bit of spillage on the side and mop that up and that that's the sort of thing that can be used in there okay so that's that and then i'll show you the papers i like some of the backs as well i will be scanning a few of these in just to play with um, not all of them, just a few. And we'll just see what happens, see what comes out of it. Um, a little suggestion when you scan your own work. Um, sometimes I'll photograph them and do it that way. And sometimes I scan. It just depends. If I want to use it like now, I'll just take a photo to make sure I've got that. Um, what I find best is to, you ha when you take them into your graphics program, just up the brightness a little bit. Okay, because they can be a little bit dull. So I usually up the brightness and decrease the contrast a little bit. And then they're more vintagey. So that's what I do anyway. And then they, they usually print out lovely after you save them and whatever. Or just scan them, you know, and print them straight out. Some some work great and some don't. So, right, so that's that. And I actually like that one as well. Okay, that bit more tea stained on that would look really good there's another one there and i like that one too and i think if you wanted to do them as oh that's the last page remember i use the white background um if you want to use them in your journals i would just use you know stick to your very light colors yeah, and well watered down and you'll find that you're you know you can still write over it yeah, that was the, I actually like that. Tea stained or coffee stained, that will, that will look lovely. Yeah. And I, honestly, that's what's going on in these. It's just amazing, really. Okay. Like I say, you can do those with, um, 
you just dress ink pads as well that won't doesn't react so much like with the oxides there's just something special about the oxides about how they sort of like do different things but you still can do it okay look at the back of that one I mean, some are just, you know, but it's still okay. This, off, just the colours in that. Ocean. It does remind me of the ocean. Definitely. And I actually quite like that one. <laughs> so. <clears throat> okay, I'll, I'll quit. There we go. Look at that. Amazing. Falling here. Yeah. I mean, some of the backs is just it's plain, you know. This is one of the very early ones I've done. And nice, very subtle background on there. And again, they would look nice in a journal made into an envelope I just I love them <laughs> hopefully you're not getting bored with me doing these <laughs> I just will be using them you know and I but it's just nice to create them I like that too so there's just something about it I used to do so much of this years ago and loved it. So I'm, I'm, I am pleased that I'm doing it again. Okay, nothing much on the back of that one, but oh gosh, if any, this is just amazing. Colours in that. Nice and subtle. Oh, lovely. It really does look like rust up here. I think this was a, like a Muppet one as well, if I remember rightly. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just amazing. I mean, you can build on those, you know, now. But, um, you know, this is this is the part where I, if I do scan them or photocopy them, I do it now, all right? And then then you're free to do what you like. I mean, I think, I, I think there's some stencil companies that are allowing you to um, incorporate the stencils in your work and actually copy, you know, copy them i think it's a stencil girl but please you know verify that because i haven't done it i've just heard on the grapevine they're sort of allowing you long as it's not you know just a stencil if you know what i mean it's got to be incorporated in your own work but that's great if they do that because that's why i, I scan now all right and then what i do afterwards is okay because i do it digitally all right and what i do with these and if I want to use the originals in the journal, then what I do now to them is fine, you know, because you're you're within your rights to put them in a, a journal and things. Unless there's there's still companies out there that don't allow you to sell anything with using the stamps, but it's very few, I think. Most of them have got an angel company. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna make something with it. Not sure what yet, but I'm gonna have a look at my journal. I mean, just. I just look at that colour combination and it's just amazing for steampunk. Yeah. 
so yeah i'm gonna make something not sure what yet so i'll go away and have a little think and then come back to you okay so the next thing i do i know you can see that there is i got i've got a lot of these like um folders because I, I, um when i was looking for the you know the really nice ones that they have in america i kept ordering these because in the picture they were cream and now these come in these kept coming so <laughs> i've got like i think about 300 <laughs> so i thought right let's start using them as well so the first thing i do is i'll stick paper some of the sheets paper to it okay and then i'll run it through and cut some shapes out i've and it's that's brilliant because it still works with the punches as well so not you know it's got quite a nice weight to it without it it's still well with it still being able to go through that so the next thing i do is i lay them so i cut a load of shapes out i've got a few hearts here and everything and i'm going to paint splatter it so this is very watered down what did i use mars is it mars no mars black i think sorry yeah, Mars Black, which is that one. Oops. Okay, I usually get these when they're half price at Hobbycraft. And then this, this might not be enough yet. Actually, it looks a bit grey. I'm not sure. So, I'm gonna, that's okay. Right, and I will, oops, a bit big there, but never mind. Just do this all over. to give them a bit more interest just making sure i pick those some of those butterflies up as well again it's messy work but I used to do all things like this when there was not the beautiful embellishments that you see today so if you want to get creative make your own embellishments <laughs> and i might even put a little bit of white on as well so exactly the same with either white paint or white gesso the higher you go the higher up the paintbrush is when you do this the smaller the flex so i think i've got everything oh that's a brown bit there You know, you do things like this and then you glaze them. And gosh, they just take on a, a new lease of life, really. Lovely. Right. It is messy work, one. <laughs> I shall get some white now. And let that dry, though. And then put the white on the top. I reckon that's going to look quite nice. I've got a little fan brush somewhere as well. So it's, it's nicely bolted down, yeah. I think this should be done blindfolded, so you can't see what you're doing. Oops. <laughs> that was a blob, wasn't it? I don't mind, I don't mind. Putting loads on and then leave it to dry. There we go. So I shall see you when it's dry. And these are the sort of things I do in between everything else. So, you know, I then I'll, I'll sort of do this and I'll go and get on with my journal and things like that. So that's the sort of thing I do. And this paper will be quite good, I expect. 
as well in the background. Just having a look. I think it'll be quite nice. I've got no white on that one. But never mind. Okay. Right, okay, I think I left it with these drying. Okay, so that's how they are. Okay, I've got loads of them. I've only, I'm only using one, but these are all that could could go through your journal if you was doing it. But I'm I'm just putting these away because I didn't want to just go and do one butterfly. If you know what I mean, I'll just do a whole load, and then I've got them for for future projects or something else that's maybe going on in the journal, and I need them. Okay, but I'm only going to concentrate on one sort of journaling card. Come tag. So I've cut a piece out of the other one that I showed you. Okay, run that through the embossing machine. Okay, got some watches there. And I thought I'm going to ink up. Oh, yeah, and I stuck the thing on here. But I'm go what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have that sort of in the middle with one of these brads and that. Yeah. Which I thought would look nice in the middle there. I'm trying to sort of get the butterfly to look steampunky. Okay, um, so I've got that, which I'm going to ink up around the edges. I've got this, I think, I haven't got this die cut. I think my sister gave me this one. I've got one similar. I'm sure it's the Sizzix one. So I thought that would look nice there. with a sort of butterfly here. And maybe one of those number embellishments that I've done. Um... I don't know which one though, sorry. Something either like that or a bit green. I would just see what happens. Or oh, this one, it's quite nice. That one there, it's quite warm. So we're just going to see what happens with that at the moment. Okay, something like that anyway. Or oh, another, maybe that on there. So turn it into steampunk and then you've got that going through the middle of the butterfly there and then the brad going through there right that's my idea anyway so first thing we need to do oh and i'm going to um use the speckled egg on the top of that one and emboss it so i think that'll look quite nice at first, right, I'm going to brave it and use walnut stain. It's not something that I use a lot of. So, I will. Oh, the, this is, I've already put the acrylic wax on this one. Just to seal it. It doesn't matter if you don't. I just like the feel of it, so... Okay. Might use a bit of gilding wax on that. I think I will. <laughs> and while I'm doing that, I work on the background. <laughs> I do get carried away with things like this. <laughs> Have you noticed? I'm just wondering whether to stamp, over stamp that. Do you know what I'm going to? I'm just going to stamp around the edges. I think I'll keep with, um, I'll do coffee. Let's use that one. There. I'm going to use that one from the Tim Holtz. Field notes.
Đấy. Yep. Bit of gilding lights. We'll rub and buff it. <clears throat> That's it, and that makes that all stand out a bit more now behind that sort of window there. Okay, let's put that away. Okay, and we're emboss the butterfly. Don't need to do the number because I've already done that, so... Let's first mark. I have used this on a, another video and oh my gosh, it came out beautiful. Really impressed with the colour. I can't find my... Oh, hiding away. There we go. Yeah, which I'm getting. I just let that cool down a bit. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm showing you, and I actually can't see myself. <laughs> uh, it's little, yeah, it's all right. So all we do is just reapply the ink. Okay, I'll just make sure there's a nice bit on there. This time I'm gonna to have to sit down and do it how I normally do it so I can see. Alright, I'll try and get the that like that. Hopefully that'll work. Definitely brought that to life. Okay. 
All right. Just let that cool off a bit. <clears throat> glue that on in a minute I'm just gonna put the hole through first I think I'm going to stitch around mine. Yeah, I'm going to st stitch on the outside. I just feel I want something dark along here, so I, that's going to be the stitching. Okay, I just feel I need a border, so I use the stitching as the border, I think. Yeah. So we'll put a little bit of glue here. If you want all the rest stuck down, I suggest you put it on the back of your hand. So just do that and just catch it in places, not too much, you know, if you know what I mean, just that help it. Okay, right, I'm going to do all my stitching. I'll do straight stitch. Uh, now I'm going to do straight stitch on everything because that looks a bit like leather then, but in black. Okay, <clears throat> that's all dry and I've stitched around that. Okay, and I've mounted that onto a piece of card. Okay that is going to go there but I'm going to stick it out a bit and put a grommet in there. Ah, I've got the small one out. Let's just turn that. Not the easiest things and I never know which one. But never mind. Try that one. <laughs> okay. Let's make a hole on the end there. I know it's going to go over the number, but I don't mind. Keep fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. Good guess. Okay, right. I might have a bit of chain. Okay, what should I do first? Actually, I'm going to do this bit first, okay? So I've got a bit of chain, and I want that to go from there up to there. Okay, I have measured it, and this brad doesn't slip through, so that's great. 
and then I've got a hole here. I'm also going to put a hole through the back to put this through as well. Right. And then we can cover the back. So that goes there. Like that. Okay, and then I glue that. And actually, we put that on first, and then save time waiting for it to dry. That's that. All right, let's open these. Doesn't want to come out. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we get that placed, I think, about there. And then put the hole through. There we go. Oops, that's come off now. And we stick stick that on in a minute. Come on, that's quite big. This is not a bigger hole. There you go. I think that's why I didn't use these actually, because they're they're quite thick. Oh. It's Put some glue on <laughs> would help. Like that, and then we glue that because I pulled it off. It. Okay, I'll just give a quick tidy up and then I'll be back. So there we go, all finished. Okay, so utilised two sheets of the paper, didn't I? One for the cutouts, which I've got loads left, and one for the topper. And it's, I look, it's lovely. I will have a look. I have I've put a place where I think it will go in the journal. Yes, it's been put together. I'll put a little yellow. There we go. Save me searching. Okay, and I think that could either be like a tuck spot or something like that. 
okay or floating we could um I, I would you know definitely cover that if i wasn't sticking it down okay i would cover that with lime paper and clip it in right if i stick it down i will remove these and then put some talcum powder on the back so it doesn't stick And it's going to go there. I like that. It could actually hang some charms from there if you wanted. Yeah, I think that's, and that looks quite nice with that poking out the side there. So, yeah. Okay, right. Well, thank you very much. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.